Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel Lively Life Snippets. Let's live our life to the fullest. Today, I would like to share with you how to become a locum with license illegally in Malaysia. Please note that this is merely my personal experience on applying licensure in the year of 2020. Please refer to the respective authority when applying yours for the latest updates and local practices. You might wonder, why do I need to apply for license A? This is needed to enable you to practice as a locum in retail pharmacies to gain more experience or extra part-time income. I had a question in my head, that is what if I work as locum without licensure? What would happen? I had been asking around about this, including my future retail pharmacies bosses, my current workplace colleagues, my batchmates and my friends. No one can give me a definite answer until I met this question in my locum exam. Now I know the answer. If you practice as locum without a valid license A, this is an offence and you can be fined not exceeding 3,000 ringgit or by imprisonment for a term not exceeding one year or both according to the Poisons Act 1952, Section 32, 2. So, exactly which offence have you committed in this case? It is the Poisons Act 1952, Section 16, 1, and 5. Subsection 1 stated that no poison shall be sold by retail except by a person licensed to sell such poison by retail while subsection 5 stated that any person who sells any poison by retail in contravention of this section shall be guilty of an offence under this Act. Bear in mind that registered pharmacist is not the same as the licensed pharmacist. This is why you need a licensor to become a part-time locum. Now, let's go into the practical aspect of how to apply this license. First step is to get a job offer. You need to find an employer. Some issues worth considering and negotiating is rate, location and time. Different people place different degree of importance on each aspects. Find one which works best for you. This sequence is my personal preference. Rate is how much your future boss is willing to pay you per hour. If you work on public holidays, does the rate increase? How many hours can they offer you per week or per month? Please note that some outlets have multiple locums who share out the shifts available and might not be that great if you wish to earn more. The second issue is location, is it far from where you live or where you work? Would you be able to be there on time for your shifts after work given the traffic jam in your areas? Are there parking lots available? Any favorite cafe nearby where you can grab your meals while you are on your way to work? If your employer is a chain pharmacy, do you need to cover other outlets? Which outlets will you be working at? Third issue is time. Are the working shifts suit your timetable and personal activities like going to gyms or churches? A 10 hours shift and a 4 hour shifts do feel differently. Do the number of hours per shift justified for amount of energy, time spent for travel, parking lots and meal expenses that you had invested? For example, your official full-time job ends at 5 p.m. and your locum job starts at 5.30 p.m. and ends at 7 p.m. in a congested area. You might need to pay for grabs so that you save time on finding a car park. Some employers will pay the annual RM300 license or application fee while most employers will ask the locums to pay themselves so that they can have multiple locums. The latter is suitable for those who wish to do locum occasionally, only when they are free. Before you said yes, I do, you need to think about how much income goes into your pocket after all the expenses and tax. Other factors like company culture, sales target are important too. All these factors need to be taken into account when deciding which employer you would like to work for. Do survey for a few potential employers before deciding on one because in my humble opinion, it is a tedious process to apply for licensor and the whole process must be repeated if you want to change employer later. This is because your license A is tied to only one of the premise of your employer. After decide on one, read the offer letter word by word until you are satisfied with all the terms and conditions. Usually, offer letters are signed in two copies, one copy for you to keep and another copy for the employer. Lastly, get the name and address of your locum workplace and the name of license a holder for next step. The second step will be getting permission from your full-time job bosses to work part-time. 
The required forms differ by facility, kindly check with your bosses what are the necessary forms to be filled. The BPF 302 LOKUM2 form can be downloaded from the source as shown in the slide or in the video description. Please allocate some time to gather all the required signatures. After you receive approval from your big bosses in black and white, you can proceed to the next step, that is pharmacy online application through the link as shown in this slide. You need to create an account and fill in your details as well as your employer details. Your professional certificates like fully registered pharmacists and annual retention certificates need to be uploaded. You need to contact your employer to send you all the documents needed for your application. If this is your first time becoming a locum, you need to sit for an interview or test. Once you pass this, subsequent license or application or renewals do not require this. However, do refer to the relevant authorities from time to time as the protocols might change. During my time, it was a exam where I was given about 15 questions to answer, 5 minutes for each question. I was expected to quote the relevant regulations and acts and common topics include but not limited to penalties, records, labels, storage, sales, licenses and some more. Again, do refer to the relevant authorities from time to time as the protocols might change or differ with facilities. After I pass my interview or exam, the officer informed me to collect my documents. At first, I thought it was only a piece of certificate but when I collected it, it was stapled in a thin stack of six documents. My retail boss requested me to bring to the workplace to be kept in premise. License A is valid from the 1st of January until the 31st of December each year and the officer informed me that I can start renew in pharmacy in October each year. Last but not least, enjoy working as locum with a valid licensor without any worries of being caught during spot checks. Work hard and I pray for abundance of wealth and health for you and myself. You reap what you sow. Thank you for watching Lively Life Snippets and if you like my videos, hit the like and share button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all in the next episode.